Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Are you still upside down on your mortgage? Are you worried about the Debt Forgiveness Act that ended in December? Well, don't. Here to explain, real estate and certified distressed property expert, Late Lavada for First Prime Realty Group. Good morning and welcome back. Good morning, thank you. Are people still underwater right here in Vegas? They are. In fact, Realty Track just found that there was 38% of the homeowners in Nevada still upside down in their mortgage. And that's that's uh, ahead of uh, Florida at 34% and Illinois at 32%. A lot of people aren't realizing that people are still hurting because their property values have gone up. Right. But still, a lot of people still underwater today. Yeah. Now, if a homeowner wants to stay but can't afford to stay, do they have options? They do have options. There's quite a few options still mm -hmm. available. Uh, there's the HARP program, which allows the homeowner to refinance the home, even if it's upside down. And there's also FHA and VA streamlines as well. Mm -hmm. So there's no appraisal required. So that allows them to stay in the home if they haven't missed payments and they need to reduce their interest rate to possibly reduce their monthly payments. We've seen as high as $600 reductions in payments uh, through, our, through our lender that we, our preferred lender that we use. Mm -hmm. There's also the loan modification where people can modify their loan, get a monthly payment reduction, and possibly an interest or a uh, principal reduction. Now, there's a lot, not a lot of those happening out there. Fannie and Freddie own about 60% of the, the loans, and they do not do principal reductions. But if it's a non-GSE, we've seen lenders or servicers such as Aquin uh, re actually reducing the principals. And we've also heard of the short sale buyback program. Mm -hmm. How does that work, and how does that help people who are distressed? Well, the short sale buyback is a short sale, obviously, at the beginning, mm -hmm. but they short sale it to an investor who's willing to buy back the home or rent back the home, lease back the home to the homeowner for a period of, let's say, three years. And then at the end of that, they have an option to buy it back. So that's a good option because they get that principal reduction, get to stay in the home, and then buy it back after a period of like I said, three years. Mm -hmm. And that's again involving an investor. Yeah, that's an investor and we do have investors who are willing to do that. So it's all particular on the home and then the whole situation, who the lender is, how much the rent is in the area. So not a lot of those are getting done, but mm -hmm. there are some for those lucky homeowners out there who would qualify. But all of the documentation and the paperwork needs to be submitted to the lender for approval. So it's important to understand that not everybody is going to qualify for that short sale buyback, but some will. So mm -hmm. they need to check into it and see if they, they do qualify. If they qualify. Now, what do you charge for your services? Well, that's the nice thing is on these short sales, typically uh, a, a real estate agent or a realtor would get paid a commission from the seller. But on the short sale, it's the short sale lender that actually pays the fee for service or commission. Mm -hmm. And that does not get paid until the transaction closes. So there's no out-of-pocket money for the distressed homeowner. All right. And then let's talk about for a homeowner who is upside down, they're worried about what to do. How do they get started? Is it, and for some are asking probably, is it too late if they've got notices? No, it's not too late. They need to call right away, though, and see where they're at in the foreclosure timeline mm -hmm. because that's really important. Once that notice of default is filed, they have 30 days to file with the state mediation program and take advantage of that where they're going to sit down with their lender and talk about their options. And that will help prolong the process a little bit longer uh, for the homeowner. So to get started, what they really need to do is call for a free consultation. There's a lot of service providers out there right now who may be charging the homeowner a fee. And I, I've dealt with a lot of those homeowners after they've paid for a service, and then they haven't gotten anywhere. So I would like to see the homeowner come and see me and see what their options are before they, they spend a dime mm -hmm. on, on on their distress situation. And people can also hear you on the radio. You yes. host a program. Tell us about this. Uh, that's on Saturdays from 7 to 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. and then again at 1 to 2 p.m. and Sundays 4 to 6. That's on 720 a.m. KDON. And earlier we talked about the Debt Forgiveness Act. Whatever yeah. happened to that? What's the status? Well, the Debt Forgiveness Act ended at last of the year, mm -hmm. December. And we're hoping that gets extended. It'll probably will get ex extended by the end of January, but we're going to have to see. There was 42 um, uh, attorney generals that submitted for that to get extended, mm -hmm. and it's on the table right now. So we're hoping that does. But it's not the only option to get out of the tax liability on debt forgiveness. So okay. we have our 
our owners meet with our CPA, our preferred CPA for that. Yeah, and there's a possibility of a different way out for people exactly. who are underwater. Yes. Well, Lee, thank you so much. Thank you. If you would like more information on short sales, foreclosures, or anything real estate related, head to the website or call the number you see on your screen. Lathe is also on Facebook and Twitter and offers free consultations and free short sale services.